was that was weird. We good? Audio is good. Yes, no, maybe so. I guess I'm just gonna run with it. All right, so hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Brendan. This is Accidental Origin, your weekly writing web show. Uh, this week starts off uh, an exciting week um, because I am on vacation this week uh, from my day job, so I will be streaming every day. Uh, doing another drafting week for those who were there for the original. Um, starting a story, seeing how far I can get with it, something I've kind of picked up from my good friend John Derek Murphy, in which uh, I want to see uh, how I've progressed since I started Accidental Origin, um, which this is episode 21, so it was I started streaming 22 weeks ago. Uh, about, yeah. crazy when you think about it I mean that's it was 52 weeks in a year so I'm nearly six months in getting pretty close getting pretty close yeah so episode 26 will be um, yeah <laughs> I'll plan something special for that week We'll see how it goes. Take a note. Episode. Episode. 26. So yeah. What's everyone been up to? How are we, how are we doing today? Flip to the main screen here. I started a new document for this. Um, I haven't 100% decided what kind of story I wanted to do. I was going over uh, concepts I worked on uh, about three weeks ago, as well as some of the like random stuff I was doing um, the week before that. Uh, I think that was episode 17 and 18, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, about about three, four weeks ago. Oh god. Um, yep, yeah, seventeen and eighteen. So, all right, all right then. Why? I'm some weirdness with chat today. Pop out's not working properly, it's totally like killing it. Alright. So, um, the concept I've liked the most out of this, or the one that I feel is the most interesting, is this one here, concept number five, um, about an assassin guild. I like it, I, I like it a lot. My thought is that, am I doing too much fantasy? Because um, this would be another fantasy story, and I'm wondering if, if I work on fantasy too much on this stream. I mean, that's not necessarily a big problem or anything. Uh, it's just an interesting note that, it's weird, right? So there's that, uh, for sure. Um, what else was I was thinking? 
Yeah, because mo- most of the stuff I write outside of the stream is not fantasy. It's more uh, modern or science fiction sort of thing. Uh... <laughs> Caught in a land sky slide, escape from reality. But yeah, I tend to do, I tend to do more of the, uh, of the more modern bent stuff, uh, and not a ton of fantasy just on my own. But I mean, maybe fantasy is the right thing. Maybe fantasy will, will better clearly de- or more clearly demonstrate, uh, improvement. Um, if it's even possible to see improvement in writing like this, <laughs> I think it is. I just, who knows, right? It's all, it's all a big experiment. Looking over these, and another one I liked was this weird one about Randall and kind of a weird after death experience sort of thing. Possibility. Um, other stuff. This could be neat. Kind of looking at the stuff. See if there's anything worth <laughs> roadside picnic. So what do you guys think? Do any of these sound particularly interesting? Uh, I can talk a bit more about them if that if that helps, uh, as well as maybe something different, completely different. Um, I'm okay with that. Just I'm okay with that too. Um, just depends. Depends what you uh, what you think. Really, I'm the one who gets to decide, but still. Why is my 
the chat so messed up. I don't understand. better we are better I mean maybe my 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 plan here is I can spend today kind of expanding on things and then get into heavy drafting sort of tomorrow next day sort of that idea um, in fact I kind of like that idea so it's a definite possibility open side Cannot spell possibility. Yep, the real world is certainly an, <laughs> an interesting place. Yeah, is that readable? That's probably not readable. Let me punch that up a bit here. Two hundred percent. Yeah, two hundred percent. any opinions people want to venture
I mean, possibility one is definitely the most developed. Um, I think possibility three has a ton of potential. Um, and possibility four is probably the least developed. I was thinking about that yesterday, Dronny, actually. If there was a way I could do it. Something I will consider. Because <laughs> I think that'd be really neat. Oh, that just wasn't... This makes me want to develop my own application. Uh, like, basically something that I, you can, um, you can like write text, maybe even voice to text. Uh, the tracks, pens, and paper is a cool idea too. Uh, but I was thinking more, Sam, like, um, where you could almost, uh, like you could have all of these windows in like the virtual space. So it was like kind of floating around you and you can move things and work on things within the space and like have it, like, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Kind of like what they were doing with that, um, with that awesome music game where you can build a synth around you, something like that. Yeah, exactly. Minority Report. It'd be perfect. Yeah, and virtual mind maps. That'd be really cool, for sure. Uh, I am using Scrivener. This is software designed specifically for writing. Uh, and it allows you for a lot higher organizational range than something like Microsoft Word, for example. Yeah, for sure, Robin, but like, um, but like literally where you can manipulate it in the space. And of course, voice to text already exists. It, the idea would be though that, um, what me and Sam have found through our our explorations into uh, VR is that typing in the headset is really difficult. Um, so having something like voice to text or another form of input would be probably uh, a much better idea. Hey, Tanji. What's up? VR gloves are a thing. <laughs> right, Robin, and I get that, but the point is is that but the question was how would you write in VR? 
I mean, I use pen and paper every day, <laughs> so I understand. I'm just saying. Johnny is totally right, uh, though, Sam. Um, it would make so much sense to, for the gloves. Like, it would make so much sense. Have they released when those are coming out yet? Do they know? Oh god, what are they called? Oh damn, NASA's partnering with them to train astronauts in mixed reality. That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I found it. But they haven't said when it's coming out yet, right? It's still in pre-order? Haptic feedback is what makes VR super awesome, where it 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 gives you that sensation of of touching something. Yeah, no, there's no, uh, sorry, I'll throw this up here so you all can see kind of what we were looking at, if you didn't pull up the link already, but, um, yeah, there's not even really a, uh, a, a, a date or anything for it, but gloves, VR, haptic, feedback, high tech, it's supposed to be able to show grip, uh, they've developed a version that, um, I don't know if they show it in here. I think it's in the blog. They developed a version where you can strap the controllers to your arms, the Vive controllers to your arms, so that it can track your entire arm. It's really cool. I'm wondering if I should uh, if I should pre-order. They're not taking payments or anything right now, so it's not like they're asking me to upfront money. Cause I'd be so in. Yeah, I mean that's totally how how technology works, Johnny. You make things smaller. You, it's this weird cycle. It's like this weird back and forth cycle of, um, and we see it a lot when we look at like the way laptops are developed in certain things where uh, they make it, <laughs> Tesla 3, um, they make things small and then they make things powerful. 
then they make things small they make things powerful um so it's very much a, a like back forth of like small things are not as powerful in general uh when it comes to computing simply because they are um they use less power so they can't output as much power uh in a lot of ways which is why desktops are more powerful than laptops in general uh and stuff like that and you know like why uh certain things are cheaper for when even though they're bigger um I'm not sure about the new Google Glass. I'm not sure how much Google's actually really working on that because uh, they have a lot of other stuff on the go that, that seems much um, more viable or more interesting. But who knows? I mean, with this, re with this new surgence of VR, like, could go either way. Cool. I just pre-ordered my gloves. We'll see how it goes. We should totally work on that virtual mind map though, Sam. That would be so cool. Hit on it. Sure thing, buddy. I'm right on it.
Hmm. Not entirely sure what my plan is for this story. Nice. I'm I'm very into that. <laughs> uh dusting off the old WordPress. Nice. Do you have the link for me, Sam? Or can you email it to me? And I will, uh, Yeah. 
bookmark that. All right. So I just pulled up my story map sheets here. Um, find thinking through uh, conflicts and all those other little bits, like trying to figure out like what what do I want to do with this story? What would I do with this story? Not entirely sure what what the conflict is here. That being said, if it's going to be a short story, it doesn't need to be overly complex. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> thrown in jail. <laughs> what are you talking about, Johnny? You can already buy Christmas trees. <laughs> it's because businesses have to be in advance no I, uh, I understood what you meant Protagonist wants to uh, get to his money stash. Uh, what 
what's at stake? Livelihood, freedom, Frank Sinatra. You wouldn't choose Bing Crosby. Not, not control. Cracking down on guild members. Okay, I'm starting to get a feel for what I want to do with this. Not sure what the internal external conflicts will be yet, but what I'm seeing right now is I'm getting a big feel for um, like a, a big guard crackdown on Assassin's Guild members and uh, like, like kind of like a, a clean house sort of thing, like raids. So there's a lot of uh, political turmoil and um, sort of cha changing of regimes in a lot of ways. Um, yeah.
played this game, the second one was better. I suppose. I was a big fan of the third one. If you're referencing the same thing I am. And by third one, I mean the third one that came out, not the actual one labeled number three. I was watching Street Fighter this morning. The big tournament going on in Europe right now. Finals are Gamer V versus Ryan Hart. Will be epic. Oh, thanks, man. Have a good one. Appreciate you stopping by.
Alright, um, I'm gonna take a, a five minute break. I need to print some stuff and uh yeah. So I will do that and I will be back. <laughs> Probably about five minutes. He is break time. There we go. 